How's it going boys? Today we're playing Land Destruction Really. So, by the colors you're probably thinking, <gasps> No Red! Are, are, are we finally get, gonna see Fall of Tron? Is it finally the time to see the only deck has been, that has been legitimately requested on this channel? Well, I am happy to answer no. And yet at the same time I'm kind of sad to answer no. Because you're gonna see why. So, story time. Remember that time when we played uh, that other land destruction deck and we were thinking about Assassin's Trophy, how it is a completely impractical way of land destruction and how it would at least t take an average of 23 casts to destroy every land that opponent has and it has no value at the early game and that it's completely inviable, unreasonable and borderline autistic? Well, I'm happy to announce that we are finally here. So, three revitalize, three, uh, three negates, two cast downs, three guys blessings, four assassins trophies, two divinations, one cry of the Karniruru, three mortify, four Vraska's contents, two kais, four primal amulets. Yes, we're not screwing around here, boys. Two cleansing nodes, three mirari conjectures, two immortal suns, and 23 magical lands. Oh, yes. Oh, I actually accident like that thing but oh yes it's gonna happen oh it's gonna happen this is gonna be painful saddening and every emotion that is negative so it's gonna be a fun time definitely a fun time so let's just kick back relax get a good spot on the chair a little bit of squeakiness but everyone likes it so it's fine okay so the start we have an amulet has down, Mirari Conjecture, Cleansing No in three lands. This could go horribly wrong, or extremely, extremely good. We're gonna see what happens. Admittedly, we have so much early removal, this hand is greedy as all hell. But we're gonna keep it, even though the opponent goes first. Because we are men. Oh, more lands. I guess it cannot be that bad, right? We're gonna get that turn four... Cleansing Nova no matter what, so it should be theoretically good. Okay, and he is gonna be playing dinos! Uh, that's also fine, because Mirari Conjecture is an extremely uh, valid source of everything that I love and hate at the same, same time. So it cannot be that bad, right? Well, he's gonna drop it, right? Oh no, he's dropping this thing. Uh, okay. Okay. Wait, why can't I cast this? Wait, why can't I? Oh, because we didn't drop a black land. Uh, makes absolute sense somewhere in my mind. Okay, so we need to kill this because we completely fucked up and I'm not gonna lie. Well, I usually would lie that we didn't misplay, but I honestly think it's by far too late to try to, to lie that we play good. So, we're just gonna have to stick with our guns and our guns currently are... Well, the borderline epiphany of extremely non-efficient stuff happening non-stop. So we're taking that 3 damage no matter what, and we can already use Guy's Blessings just to, to additionally mill things. Okay. Oh, getting a cast down is not exactly bad, by the way. So, we're gonna drop Cleansing Nova, because we need to get rid of that, because that thing has haste for some reason. Why it has haste? Don't honestly ask me. I don't really understand the point of that. But it's fine. Okay, so next turn we can just Primal Emerald and Vraska's... Well, not Vraska's, but cast down this thing, more likely. Oh, no, wait. Uh, excuse me, I'm an idiot. He's obviously gonna play more things that are extremely painful to us. Okay, that, that's absolutely fine. You know, I didn't want to win anyway. So let's just do this, and I guess flip the amulet pretty soon at this rate. Uh, if we get a, a land back, we can just Mirari Conjecture without any problems whatsoever. Otherwise, we're kind of a little bit boned. Well, we're not taking that much damage, so on one hand, yeah, we're fine. On the other one, eh, not so much. Not, not so much. Okay, multiple Mirari Conjectures. What can possibly go wrong? Am I right or am I right? Okay, as long as he doesn't play, uh, as long as he plays a spell, the negate's gonna be cool. Also, look at the strange Wibbly art. It's strange. That's pretty much all I can honestly say about it. Okay, he's not playing anything. Cry of the Carnivoru. Good, good, good stuff. I actually like it. 
So let us get back to Vraska's and slowly exile his things when it makes sense to us. And flip the amulet because we need to stop that land destruction spree pretty, pretty soon. Okay, is he actually not playing anything? That's insane. Why would you not be playing anything? Seems kind of, seems kind of a little bit counterproductive, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this in that case. No real value in it, but hey, good enough. Honestly, need a little bit of leeway, uh, so, you know, if anything... Ooh, a land of our elf. I think I'm gonna use the cry now, just to flip the amulet, because are kind of uh, versed card per se. Oh, yes, this is good. Okay, so land destruction starts now. We flip the amulet, we just exile that thing in the bin, and now we triple cast our wind condition. Oh yes, what a glorious time to be alive. No one will ever question us. So yeah, uh, one turn, just three lands instantaneously down the drain. Not not bad. Not not actually bad. Questionable, but definitely not exactly bad. Uh, imagine this guy's face when he actually realizes this is this is the great plan to mill him by land destruction via assassin's trophy. And we don't have an alternative win condition, may I add? Our alternative win condition is mill. So it's... Yeah, it's it's definitely something. Okay, do I... Yeah, I can play it like this, it's fine. Okay. So, get this. Uh, get the Assassin's Trophy back, I guess. And, you know, we're just gonna continue onwards. We're gonna see what he drops, and then we're just gonna Assassin's Trophy it in one land. You know, just, just, just for uh, keepsakes. And it's gonna be fun. I wonder why he's not dropping anything. You'd think his hand would be full of MacGuffins and whatnot. But seemingly it's not, so... Not exactly sure what the hell is going on here. Ah, Divination. Uh, we're gonna get this back. Okay, we're gonna cast now this. Yep, that's, that's fine. A land, not bad. A lot of draw potential, a lot of everything, to be honest. Okay, we can just slowly get back uh, one of our things. And, now nah, we're not getting the Divination back, but I'm gonna get the cast down back because I just like it. It's not exactly good to cast... Ooh! <laughs> ah, yes, next turn we're gonna kill five mortal lands, most likely. What a great time to be alive. Okay, so that's a Land of War Elf. Not, ex not not particularly too uh, too threatening or anything. So yeah, uh, gonna ah you know what? I'm just gonna Vraska's it out of pure and unalter unadulterated spite. It seems good. If he drops a planeswalker, honestly, then then it's not exactly good. But well, for planeswalkers we do have negate, so that's a really powerful tool to be honest. So yeah. Okay, so let's just continue killing his lands. But. Assassin's Trophy. Sounds strange, but as you can see, it's kind of a kind of an effective way to do things. Okay, the question is, do does he have any more normal lands left? Yes, he does. He actually seemingly only has forests, which is kind of a little bit funny. I do think he only has forests, so he's not going to be capable of playing anything. Yep. What a deck. We're just getting deeper, deeper, and deeper into the goddamn end, end zone here, I feel. Honestly, I, I do feel like that. Okay, <clears throat> so how many lands have we killed? I don't know, but probably not enough. Probably not enough. Okay, so we're essentially completely safe against anything this guy now tries to do. Ooh, Guy's Blessing. Get the Guy's Blessings back, the Mirari Conjecture, because one was used, and Divination, why not? Seems good. Uh, need, by the way, I'm, I, I kind of just want to get a couple of more Assassin's Trophies, not Assassin's Trophies, but, you know, a couple of more Primal Amulets, so we can just be a little bit more effective, uh, effective with our mill condition, with win condition, mill condition. And he surrenders. I'm actually very thankful that he did surrender, because this would be extremely, extremely painful for him, not for us. By the way, props for the guy who said that we're never finishing the cast 40 creature spells challenge. Daily, whatever it's called. 
he was extremely spot on. Well played. Well played, sir. Okay. Well, right, let's let, let's get a little bit more comfy because this is this this is gonna be this is gonna take some time. Let's be completely honest with ourselves here. Three lands. Guy's Blessing, Vraska's in a Primal Amulet, and the opponent goes first. I don't see a problem here. Okay, uh, we can even cast this, that's pretty cool. Okay. So. Yeah, oh my god, that's actually, okay. Okay. <clears throat> I know what this deck is. It's garbage. Annoying garbage. Okay, that's pretty good. Honestly, not even bad. As long as we get to drop the Primal Amul, it's pretty good. He's probably gonna try to like... Ooh! Ooh, we need to kill that. But sadly... Okay, there's a way. This is legendary. No, it's not. Okay, uh, it's gone. Can't let that thing survive. It's honestly a little bit a lot annoying. So, we're gonna get the Primal Amul off. We can see what this guy does. As long as we get rid of the pre uh, Priest of the... Gotten Gods, it's kind of good. By the way, I was making a bl uh, black mono deck, and I actually put effort this time in it. And let me not lie, it, it was completely horrible. Well, it wasn't completely, completely horrible, but you kind of get the point. It's just not my thing. Okay, so, Assassin's Trophy, huh? Nope, nope, wrong card. Okay. Flip the uh, uh, Primal Amulet as soon as possible, because that's gonna be great. What is this? Sacrifice two creatures a turn. Okay, that's fun. Uh, I still need to kind of do this because I'm afraid that if I don't do it, he's going to get some kind of strange engine rolling and that's not going to be fun for us, at least. Okay, I want to get back, honestly, pretty much everything of this almost, but it's fine. I think we need to get back to Vraska's like ASAP because it just does look like one of those situations. And we're kind of out of cards, honestly. So, a little bit of problems occurring, but honestly, it's not as bad, I think. Would be pretty good to uh, get one of our divinations out. Or, you know, uh, Primal Sun. Immortal Sun. Oh my god, uh, oh, that's heresy right there. That's heresy. What the hell is this? Uh, what? What is that? Is that even a card? Why does this exist? I have never seen anyone play this. I honestly didn't know, even know that's a card. Okay, so we're gonna play this uh, tapped for reasons. And now it's using the correct land so I can Assassin's Trophy something. Okay, so now we Assassin's Trophy this, and it's fine. We almost flipped the amulet, which is gonna allow us to clear boards like with the speed of sound and whatnot. As long as we get to flip it. Obviously, he doesn't really have a way to stop us from flipping it, so that's cool. Okay, he got a little bit more lands out, so he can potentially now play uh, the flying Ragdos guy. And that's gonna be a little bit annoying and frustrating, but that's fine. Oh look, a Kite Sail Freebooter, the worst card in Magic. You know what's better than a Kite Sail Freebooter? Literally anything and everything. Yeah, that, that's what's better. Okay, Vraska's this. Amazing. 10 out of 10. Flip the amulet. Good, good, good. As long as we draw one card that now gives us cards, we're gonna be completely set. And yeah, that's pretty much all she wrote. We're probably using this to kill something if he just doesn't attack. Do we even... It's a, it's a black deck. The only bird it has is Vampiric Bite or something, about, uh, something of a bite. So I'm not exactly... Too threatened by this guy just attacking me like this. You know, I feel a little bit offended, honestly, that he just does attack me. But, honestly, it's kind of a no big deal. So, let's see what he does now. If he drops a 6th land, I'm probably gonna kill it, because 3 damage a turn is a little bit annoying. But, all in all, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So, what is he gonna do? Punking King. Ooh, what a name. What a, what a name. What a player. Oh, he's gonna play something. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. I'm just gonna kill it now. Out of pure spite and anger. Declaring dominance like there's no tomorrow. Oh, God, more primal amulets. Oh, yeah. 
This guy is probably completely shitting Briggs by now. He he sees okay. That's that's the, that's the spawn of mayhem I did not want to see. But you know what? It's fine. It's absolutely fine. We get to kill it. So we can easily get a Mirati conjecture that will give us a lot of things in our hand, and we can get well, we can get additional a lot of more things that can you know help. Oh my God, that's a grave waker. Okay, remember something, something, Mirari Conjecture, really good card and whatnot? Uh, yeah, Mirari Conjecture. It actually gives a hell of a good advantage, most of the time, all the time. Okay, so, Vraska's, Vraska's again. I could have actually, oh, I could have actually waited until he just, you know, needs to do the, uh, it doesn't matter. It honestly, completely does not matter. And here we're gonna take the guy's blessing, not the, uh, not the Vrat. Because Guy's Blessing is going to draw us two cards. Because it, we're going to use the Primal Well Springs on it. Oh, a Doom Whisperer. Man, this guy is going pretty deep. Ah, I, I actually know what's in his hand. In the rest of his hand, there's just a bunch of useless removal. So, 10 out of 10, enemy. 10 out of 10. Okay, get this back, get that back, and actually call today. Should be good. Yeah, just more, just just more pointers on the primal amulet. Man, I wonder does he have absolutely any understanding of what's happening to him currently? Okay, and just get the same things back again because it's fine. <clears throat> okay, one card. Ah, divination. That's good. Two cards. The more you know, the more cards we essentially get, the better it is because you know the faster we start drawing a lot of cards, the better it's gonna be in the long run. Well, you know, as long as you put lands in your graveyard, I'm actually gonna be okay. That's good. Yeah, that's one land. That's good. Transform. Braska's contempt. Good stuff. Okay, now draw at least 3 billion cards, because reasons. I could have waited a little bit, but it's fine. I think I think it's gonna be fine, because we are absolutely men. Oh yeah, that's that's the stuff. Okay, more Vraskas. Okay, oh yeah, that's definitely the stuff. Let's play this for funsies now. Okay, a land. Can't really play it, but I think that's also fine. Oh yeah. So, we're gonna completely mill all of his possessions now it's gonna be amazing he's he, he's gonna he's gonna enjoy it he's gonna totally enjoy what's gonna happen to him i have absolutely no doubt and he's gonna understand what's the point of this deck the point of this deck is absolutely stupid but it's fine so first of all we kill this and after we kill three of his lands yeah, you can do that if you want. I don't really care about your surveilling shenanigans. It's not really too effective because it's a Dimir type of card. And, you know, playing the... Oh, finally! You you found the rambling skeleton. What a champion. What an actual champion, boys. It's fine, though. Okay. The bad part about this deck is obviously you kill land and you need to wait until your opponent... Just gets uh, gets a new land out. It's a little bit annoying, but you know we have to deal with it sometimes. Oh yeah, this, this is this, this this is the life, absolutely the life. Ten out of ten. Okay, and we have one more assassin's trophy ready for business. Great. Okay, let's just do it like this, and well, shablam. More Assassin's Trophies. Is he gonna play the Rambling Skeleton? I don't know. Did I just click on the wrong land? No, I did not. Well, it actually doesn't matter for him too much, because he can always play the Rambling Skeleton. Just gonna attack this now, because why not? Why not? <clears throat> okay. We're slowly thinning out his deck. That's good. Usually I would say that's bad, but in this case, eh, it's pretty reasonable. Okay, so gonna get back the guy's blessings. The Mirari Conjecture and the Assassin's Trophy. Oh yeah. All of those cards are just meant to get uh, more Assassin's Trophies back. And the, the other guy is Blessing. Or it's the same one. It doesn't really matter to us too at this point. Okay. Immortal Sun. Uh, also good. That means we're drawing more cards now. So Planeswalkers also don't work. 
Oh, so scary. He got his rambling skeleton out. Man, I, I am I am so scared. Oh, a grave walker. Yeah, this guy is going pretty big with his uh, deck of things. Pretty impressive, considering it's pretty not impressive, honestly. So, sacrifice two creatures, do something. Really now? Okay, let's see what do we do. We kill this. He's gonna get. Uh, he's gonna sack the skeleton, so it's not exactly good. Oh my God! He doesn't do anything. Okay, he just decided he's not gonna do do anything. Or is there something I'm missing with this card? Oh, it requires tapping. Makes sense. And everything goes into the exile bin again. Vraska's contempt, everyone. It's a pretty good card. So he's. Well, he's still not giving up, honestly. That's that's a little bit admirable, but, you know, admiration does not get you, honestly, that far in life. Hmm, a chupacabra. Getting pretty desperate there, aren't we? Well, it's dead. It's just dead now. Okay, what a time to be alive. For him, definitely not the best time to be alive. But it's fine, you know, we're thinning out his deck and he's probably a little bit thankful for it. Oh, look at that, more Chupacabras. Well, more Mortifies. I'm drawing two cards per turn, he's drawing one card per turn. It's it, it, it's a gangbang, as one might say. Lands, 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 I guess that's fine. You know, our alternative win condition is mill, so this is not exactly uh, not really that bad. So, 10 out of 10. Okay, let's see. Do we draw more lands? Yes, we draw more lands. Okay, what is this? Oh, yes, more lands. Well, I guess I, I, I honestly kind of saw that one coming, so it's fine. Oh, wow, what a great time. It's Friday. Playing some magic. Masturbating. Thought about remaking the MILF deck. If anyone doesn't know what's the MILF deck, then... Congratulations, you're new to the channel. You're not completely corrupt. You still have a way out. Well, a small way out. But, you know, it's it's a way out. You're, you're not completely sucked in into this horror. Like, even the people that like my channel say it's absolutely borderline horrific, horrific stuff. Ooh, look at that. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so, uh, more milling. Not milling, but more land destruction. Ahoy. Good stuff. Yeah, this guy's probably contemplating life a lot currently. Definitely contemplating life. I like how he actually tapped the Cabal Stronghold. Like, like it, that changes anything. Like, that actually changes anything. Ugh. What a deck. Well, it's better than my Lich Mastery deck, honestly. Glad you guys like the Lich Mastery deck. I'm having fun playing it. Even though that's extremely heretical, in essence, but it's fine. Okay, did we put all our Raska's Contempts in the graveyard and got- Yep, we did that, so we probably should get a little bit back. But for now, it's not like the en enemy is really doing anything. A one damage skeleton is not actually threatening. Oh, there's the Mirari Conjecture. Okay, oh, and here's the Raska's Contempt. So you know what that means? That means we're getting Assassin's Trophies back, boys. That just means we're getting Assassin's Trophies back. Okay. Well, the Negate is finally paying off. Uh, we have the Negate, by the way, in our deck. Specifically for the Fari decks. Man, this... This guy is trying pretty hard. Well, at least his removal finally is paying off. So, you know, uh, props to him, I guess. Well, that's the, probably the best way of using removal, otherwise everything just gets Vraskad and exiled. You know what, I'm gonna pay life for this just to establish a little bit of that dominance I hear so much about nowadays. Okay, let's see, we're getting back... Getting back an Assassin's Trophy, obviously. Good stuff, good stuff. And now we're just casting Assassin's Trophy on things again. Oh yeah, we're thinning out his deck, and he's probably actually a little bit thankful for that, but it's fine. He should be running out of lands in the foreseeable 10 years. I think. Maybe. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but usually people run like 23 lands on average. 
I'm by the way saying that number completely randomly. That's just because that's the amount of lands I run. So it makes sense. Okay, we can wait with the next assassins. Oh wait, he's out of lands! <gasps> he's actually out of lands, boys. Great. That's great. That's actually really good. If he's out of lands, that just simply means one thing. I came, came, I saw, I conquered Linking Park. Okay, revitalize, not bad, not bad, more lands, not bad, okay, uh, yeah, this is good, this is definitely useful, okay, it's just gonna play the breeding pool, uh, and pay life, because why not, uh, now I'm gonna do, not, not, not that, press the Z button, press the Z button, wrong land usage, and guy's blessing, and we're gonna guy's blessing back the Vraskas, the Vraskas, and there should be, ah, oh, yes, Assassin's Trophy. And now I'm gonna get back to the, the third Raskas, and essentially that's all she wrote. Raskas, Raskas, Raskas. Okay, so all the Raskas have been gotten back. Divination, not a bad card, definitely not a bad card. It's the second pluck on that thing, so good enough. Just gonna exile this now. So he feels a little bit of pain. And this guy is not having a good day. I can tell you that much for a fact. Oh, he's he wants he wants to be he wants to be he wants to be a good boy. Well, not a good boy, but a big boy. He's killing his own things. Honestly, he should understand by now that what what he is doing is extremely extremely not not, not really gonna get him far. But I guess it's his choice. It's his life. So I can't really like uh, say that he can't really do do the things he's doing. Get the divination back. Why not? Okay. So, I need to be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, precautious about not accidentally milling, um, uh, killing myself with mill. Okay, he got more, wait, why did he get more skeletons back? <clears throat> no idea. Okay, a grave, uh, grave marshal. Ah, that's cool. Okay, so this is what we do. We force him to, like, remove one card from his graveyard via Mortify, and then we just Vraska uh, Akai's Wrath. That's that. Oh no, wait. We don't. We, we we don't even need to do that anymore, boys. Great. Okay. So, is anyone ready for more assassins trophies? I sure as hell am. By the way. Okay. The third tick of that just happened. So, Kai's rat. Why not? Right? Why not? Kai's rat. Double Kai's Wrath in case someone, something had lifelink, but these things do not have lifelink, so it's fine. Uh, this. This. And Assassin's Trophy. Oh, yes. Four Assassin's Trophies per turn. Oh, he got the Rambling Skeletons back. I think he's out of lands. It could be potentially that he's actually out of lands. There is that slight chance and possibility that he is legitimately out of lands. Well, now I'm just gonna do do it like this. Honestly, if you, you're casting this many assassins, yep, he's out of lands, boys. He is officially out of lands. Great. Finally, we're getting somewhere. It only took half a millennia, but we're honestly doing it. Okay, three more lands kills. Nice. Okay. Yep, looks like he's a hundred percent out of lands. We did it. We actually did it. We completely did it. Okay, let's just kill this. Why not? Yep, just just do it. Just do it. Not gonna lie. Feels feels pretty good. Feels like I achieved something. Like I did some. Oh, and he gave up. Oh yes, absolutely phenomenal. What a deck. What a great, great, great deck. Okay. So, moving onward, uh, more people to torture, coming right up your way, today, hopefully. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit proud of myself, because this deck does a lot. I don't know what it does if you're actually wondering, I can't really name specific things. But, I think we find, yeah, this is too greedy for some reason. Okay, this is fine. Your opponent goes first, still guy is blessing. Why not? Why not? We need to get that loss in somewhere, don't we? Okay. 
Obviously, it was smarter to play play the drowned uh, drowned catatombs first, uh, but it doesn't matter too much. This looks like it's a Tefari deck. Definitely looks like a Tefari deck. So let's see. Does he cancel my? Nope, he does not. A negate. Huh, a usable negate. Let's see what what your uh, turn five Tefari is gonna say about my negate. I have a feeling it's not gonna be too happy about life. Uh, let's see. Hmm, do I? Yes. Wait, was there a point in doing? It doesn't matter. It honestly does not matter. Okay, so we have a mortal sun, by the way, in hand, which I did not even notice. Oh, do I want to can? Oof. Yes, I actually want to do this. Just to show off that I have negate. He can still do it this turn, but it's fine. As long as I pre uh, prevent that additional draw. Oh, yes, here it is. Tefari. The Tefari Hero of Dominaria. Turn 5 Tefaris. Uh, you know the game wants you to lose against Tefari decks. Uh, when the opponent has a land every single turn to play. And I'm gonna pay life again. No reason to, but I'm still gonna do it. Okay, he had absolutely no counter to the ferry. And he's probably thinking, hey, I have a free land now. Little does he know, he is playing right into our trap. Okay, that was a bit unexpected, not gonna lie. But I honestly think it's fine at the same time, because Mortify exists. And we can draw Breeding Pools. Okay, if we draw... No, we only have one black source, so yeah, that's a thing. Okay! Do you have a Tefari to play now? No, you do Chemist's Insight because you're poor. Nice. Yeah. We're not using, by the way, Chemist's Insight in this deck. One, because I'm not really a big fan of it. And two, most importantly, because uh, it's uh, Divination is a sorcery. And there's not actually that many useful cards I can get back with Mirari Conjecture. Uh, with Divination, uh, you know... With the, uh, that are uh, sorcery, you know. Okay, that seems pretty good. Seems like that guy has absolutely no counter spells, whatever, uh, what to speak of at all. So, if we get to drop the Immortal Sun and it does not get kicked or anything, we're in a pretty decent position, in my honest opinion. So it goes down, no questions asked. Pay the life, because what is he gonna do? Drop and drop sudden Niv Mizzet? Obviously not. Obviously not. Okay, a search for a Skand. Honestly, that's a little bit annoying. But it's a land, so it can be killed. Easy, boys. Easy. Ah, Mirari Conjecture, I see. So, this is better if he counterspells that than Mirari Conjecture, because we can just assassin throw. Oh no, he just revitalizes. Oh god, this poor schmuck. This honest-to-god poor schmuck. So I'm just gonna get the Assassin's Trophy now. But if honestly God and the the gate, maybe he doesn't have anything. Oh my God! He did not go for the flip on the Ascanta. Really now? Really? Is that the play you're gonna make? No flip for Ascanta. Aren't you a bad boy? Oh, the Farikun. Hello there. Well, I honestly don't think he even has counter spells in his deck. It doesn't look like it. That's pretty interesting. You rarely see stuff like that happen. But it's fine. So we're gonna get the divination back. Again, the reason we have divination is because it's a sorcery and it works with Murari Conjecture pretty well. Otherwise, we don't really have too much except for Guy's Blessing. So, also, a divination that costs one. Pretty effective oh oh no he just revitalizes constantly not gonna lie not exactly the best situation for this guy just gonna drop one more of these bad boys you know no rush no rush at all kill that guy get a bit uh, get a bunch of those things up now and obviously fail to drop the right land so we can assassin's trophy things but it's fine it's it's absolutely fine so, get back this, get back that, and get back the Vraskas. Seems good. Okay, almost flipped the amulet. Mortify. Uh, he's gonna finally flip the search for a scant, but again... Well! 
to be extra sure, by the way, I'm gonna play Kai's Vrat and then we're gonna Assassin's Trophy. Because one thing that counters blue counter spell decks. Oh no! Ah! Unexpected! Okay, that's honestly a little bit bad, but on the other hand, what is this guy exactly gonna do? Does he have River's Rebuke or something? I honestly don't know. I honestly also don't think he has. So, it should be essentially fine. Okay. So. He has card advantage. We have an Immortal Sun. I'm not sure if he can deal with the Immortal Sun. And we just draw that. So, that's amazing. And we draw that. So, essentially, uh, we're, we're, this turn's gonna be pretty decent. This turn's just gonna be pretty decent. Flip the flipper. Good stuff. Uh, three times cast the revitalize just to establish an extreme amount of ab abundance of dominance. And yeah, more lands. That's good. Divination, not exactly good. Assassin's trophy. Pay the life, because why not? Uh, get back this, this, and Mirari conjecture. Okay, that's good. And I actually want one negate, divination, and that's actually it. Okay, so five cards back, we draw two, it's fine, absolutely fine, finally got the negate. Let's pretend that we, we are still searching for things, well we are still kind of searching for things. Cleansing nose, a lot of stuff, and yes, use it like that so we can just double tap this thing. Yeah, he definitely does not even have a single counter spell in his deck. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so what's the first color I'm gonna remove? Well, I'm gonna remove the dual lands and then, then I'm just gonna figure it out as I go along. Okay. So yeah, triple casted assassin's trophy. Definitely something. Is I don't I think I'm gonna go for yeah, I'm gonna go for the blue mana first. It's gonna be fine. Okay, enemy. What are you gonna do now? You're gonna play a hollowed fountain. I guess that's fine. Reasonable at least at the bare minimum. Okay, play do that and draw a little bit more because why not? We do, that's why we have revitalize Vraska's contempt. More assassins trophies. Ah, eh, can't really do that. Okay, get rid of two lands. Could have gotten rid of the cleansing nova. But you know, I'm not gonna get rid of it just yet. It's a good card. I like it. Okay. Okay. Uh, play the Watery Grave. Pay life. Because our life total is completely irrelevant this game. And just, you know, uh, target the lands again. Yeah. We're just gonna slowly mill him. I think he understands what's happening now. At least he. Sh I think he should be able to understand what, what exactly is happening now. We're thinning out his deck, that's what's happening. So his deck becomes just more effective. Oh, does he not have lands? In yeah, I don't think he has lands anymore. Looks like it. Feels like it. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't think he has lands anymore. Great. Oh, <laughs> the negate. A classic. A classic. Absolute classic. Yeah, you see, this is why we have the gates. Against the Fari decks, the gates are pretty goddamn good cards. I don't exactly... Okay, let's just cleansing now for funsies at this point. Makes no difference to us. And let's play this... Uh, no, let's not play the Sun Petal Grove, so he knows that we, one of our cards is useless at this point in time. Okay, more lands. Oh, more Primal Amulets. That's the stuff that we need. Okay. Ah... I am totally enjoying myself, by the way. Oh, Thought Erasure. Oh, look at that. You're gonna get rid of my Vraska's Contempt. <laughs> scary. Definitely scary. What are you gonna do now? Oh, I, th I think he's just waiting for a Cleansing Nova. Uh, could be possible, but then again, does it really matter? If we just remove all of his green, he, uh, he potentially can't really cast anything anymore. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we're just doing this, and then we're gonna get rid of the white lands, because, you know, why not? Ah, 
a little bit more and he's not gonna, gonna be even able to cast cleanse, uh, Cleansing Nova, which is gonna be a pretty good, uh, good feeling. And now he's incapable of casting his Tefati. It, not like it actually matters, by the way, but you know, he is not capable of doing that for the time being. Okay. What? Ooh, 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 ooh. Getting a little bit cheeky here, aren't we? Okay, we got the Marari Conjecture finally. So let's get back all of our cards that we need to completely and thoroughly play this game at the optimal level. Ah, yes. 22 cards left. Ooh! He just mortified us, boys. That's pretty impressive. Okay, let's see how many... Yes, we still have guy. Uh, we still have access to those things. Okay, just gonna, you know, now kill this. And, you know, it's gonna be fine. Essentially, he will only have black lands left. Uh, which means he's gonna be incapable of doing anything but casting removal spells. So that's gonna be amazing. Okay. So, just kill that. Nothing to replace it, huh, son? Not bad. I'm not gonna lie, this is this is a bold deck, boys. This is definitely a bold deck, Cotton. A bold move. I am enjoying myself so much. Look at that, he only has black lands now left. And he, the only thing he can play is essentially removal cards. We should probably emote him just to piss him off a little bit more, you know. The guy's trying, he's trying to rank up. It's the last, like, 40 hours of this season, so... Oh, yeah. He's done. He is absolutely done with my shit. He just minimized the screen. He, he, yeah. It's done. This is a moral victory. Oh, no, he's, he's back. Okay. Ooh, scary. I thought he's done. Turns out he's not. Turns out he wants to see more of his lands get destroyed. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Vraska's... Oh, let's just play one more shrine and pay life for it, because why not? Again. Ah, uh, good stuff, not gonna lie. Totally, totally good stuff. Ah, uh, Mirari Conjecture, who would have thought? Okay, play the Mirari Conjecture. Uh, get back one more Assassin's Trophy. And rinse and repeat, essentially. This is the only deck, by the way, that has the potential of uh, fixing the weaknesses of early game weakness. Oh, he gave up. Yeah. That's what I thought. They just give up. They understand what's happening, they know what's happening, and they hate you because they know what's happening. Good stuff. And a Plague Crafter. You know, not a good card, but a Plague Crafter as a reward card? at this moment, seems extremely fitting for some odd reason. So yeah, anyway, this is the genius deck. Absolutely phenomenal. 10 out of 10 would make again. So, this was Kuzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you already. Check out my channel, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon, and have a nice day. Bye-bye!